one of the ways I'm able to quickly test a large number of products on TikTok shop and TikTok affiliates is by using a method that requires minimal time and money. I can use a software like jog.ai, which allows me to create high quality product videos without needing to order the product to me in advance. And this means that I don't have to wait for the product to arrive, spend money on the purchase, or invest time in recording and editing videos. Instead, I can use this software to make these videos quickly and efficiently, enabling me to test and prove the concept of a product without ever having it on hand in my possession. This software streamlines the entire process, allowing me to perform product research on multiple items, create videos for those specific items the same day, and get those videos up realistically very quickly to test them with minimal time and minimal effort. By reducing the time and friction between finding a product and getting those videos online, I can move quickly through the testing phase. And once a product concept is proven, at that point, I might invest more time or more resources into it. But initially, I focus on using the minimum viable product and minimum viable time invested approach. And it's especially useful because this software allows you to utilize existing product listings on platforms like Amazon or eBay or Etsy, for example, and videos already available available on TikTok to you. You don't need to spend any money on hiring expensive UGC creators or time purchasing products yourself and then recording, like I said, and editing the videos. Instead, this approach enables you to test multiple products rapidly, find a winner, and then obviously scale it from there, saving both time and money in the process. So to sign up for jog.ai, you can try it completely free through the first link in the description, right? Now, once you arrive, you're gonna see this and you just click get started for free. That's gonna actually take you in to where you can actually utilize your free credits. So you'll see five free credits here at the bottom when you're first starting. So you can obviously take this, make a video and export it completely free just to test the software with no strings attached, no risk involved to you. And if you like it, you can stick with it. If you don't, that's totally fine as well. But they're giving you a free video that you can utilize wherever you want to. Now, one of the easiest ways to get started is just with an existing product listing. So as an example, one of these auto tripod tracking things has been going viral, you know, not currently right now, it's kind of on the downtrend, but it was going viral like two, three months ago and it was all over TikTok shop and TikTok affiliates. So as an example, if we were looking for this specific listing or something like it on Amazon, you can see that there are a number of examples here on Amazon that are very similar that we can utilize, right? So it would have to be something like this that it is is the actual auto tracking tripod that I'm talking about here. So this one right here has 3,700 reviews and obviously you want something with more reviews. For example, like this is very similar, but it's only got 352 reviews. So the more reviews that you have, the better the actual listing is gonna be because there's typically gonna be more review videos on that actual product listing, which you can then utilize in the actual software when you upload it into Jog. And the more assets that you give it in the form of pictures, a better product listing, and ultimately videos is gonna make your end result that actually Jog puts out much better. So you want more product review videos on your listing. And a rule of thumb is the more reviews typically the better. So as we scroll up here, let's find one more example of a similar product listing. This one's sort of similar, it's 125. There are a bunch, I know I've seen them. So this one's like 839, very similar. This one's 62. So this one right here has, you know, 3,700 reviews. So as we scroll down, we can see that there's probably a bunch of review videos on here. There you go, videos for this product. There's three pages full of them. So what Jog is essentially gonna do is it's gonna use this product listing, all the pictures, all the information to obviously write the actual script and voiceover for our video and then record it for us. And it's also going to take pieces of that picture and pieces of these videos that focus on the best parts of the product, chop them up and splice them, put the voiceover over top of it, and then make an entirely brand new video for us in like a minute. So let me show you how it works and we just take the URL of this product and we paste it into Jog, analyze the URL. You can see, bam, it pulled the actual product name, pulled the product description, and it actually pulled all the media. Now, it didn't pull the review videos, so what we'd wanna do is we wanna download all these videos ourselves. You can do that with a tool like Seller Sprite, which is what I recommend for Amazon, or you can do that with a tool like ZDrop, which is what I recommend for retail drop shipping. This button right here, the blue one, is ZDrop to get the download Video button on Amazon, very simple. Just go to zdrop.com or go to sellersprite.com. Either one of these tools have a free trial, I believe, and then you can just get the download full video button, test it out for yourself. 
So if we download this video, we download this video, download this one, this one, this one, and then this one as well. And so then what I'll typically do once we have all the review videos, sometimes I'll keep the pictures in here, but I find that if you use videos, it tends to work a lot better. Every once in a while having a picture there can help because it'll zoom in on something like a product detail that makes the video a little bit more better of an explainer for a potential customer. But as a rule of thumb, most of the time just using videos works better. So we're gonna delete all the pictures out of these assets and then upload those review videos as media. Put them all in there, let it run. There we go, all the videos are in there, so now we'll click next. And now you just wanna give it the specific settings, right? So obviously we're keeping it nine by 16 because it's a TikTok video. I always recommend that for most beginners and most of the time, keep it at 15 seconds because it's easier to keep someone's attention longer in a shorter time frame. You also need less assets if your video is shorter, right? If you're doing a 60 second video, as an example, you're gonna need more actual chops, more, it's gonna take more effort for you to do that. And it's tougher to keep someone's retention longer, especially for a product video. So just take my word for 15 seconds when you're starting. In the future, you can obviously test 30 and 60 second scripts and 30 and 60 second videos. But as a rule of thumb, 15 typically works better most of the time. If you know your target audience, like I always say, put it in there. I always keep that blank. Then we're gonna click next, let it auto generate the scripts. There you go. So there's some scripts that it generated. If you don't like any of these, then obviously you can regenerate it and go back and redo it again. If you do like the bones of any of these scripts, then you could just edit them as well by clicking the edit button, or you could pick one. I found that it typically does a good job at writing them, but I usually like to put my own spin on them a little bit and kind of make them a little bit more human sounding. So I'll pick the best one and then I'll kind of rewrite it in my own words. So this one's not bad discovery. Let's click into this one and we'll edit it. Ever struggle with shaky, unfocused videos while live streaming or vlogging? I did until I found this auto face tracking phone holder. It's AI powered 360 rotation, keeps me perfectly in frame, hands free, we'll say all the time. Grab yours now and elevate your content. So we'll save those changes, we'll click next, and we'll let it generate the video. So now you wanna pick your template here. So I always typically recommend that you don't use one where there's an avatar that's too much of the video. You want it to be product focused. And one of the coolest things about Jog that they recently just introduced was the AI avatar. So you can actually upload your own video, record your own video of you saying like a script. It doesn't matter what you're saying. You can literally pull up an article online and just read it. As long as you're in frame talking, it will take your face, your voice, the way that you look, in that video and then auto generate your own AI avatar so you can be the avatar in the video and it looks like you're the one speaking. Now, is it perfect yet? No, definitely not, but it does look pretty good most of the time and it's getting better and better every single day. So check it out, try it out, it's a game changer. A month from now, two months from now, I think it's gonna be something that is really advantageous for things like TikTok Shop and TikTok Affiliates, but it definitely has use cases right now as well. So to do this, all you would just go to on Jog is the AI avatar, as you can see it's new. You'd create the AI avatar and then you'd upload your video. It was five minutes for some reason, now it looks like it's only three minutes. So you only need to really record yourself saying something for about two, three minutes. Then you'd upload it there, and you'd be able to generate your own AI avatar. Very, very cool stuff. And then of course, when you actually go into the videos here, you could pick yours as the AI avatar that you're choosing. If you wanna turn captions off, you just untoggle this. I and I like to pick one of the ones that has a full screen effect, holder. focus on it's the AI product. Powered and then once you select the template, you just come down here to pro yeah. edit. That's gonna give you the most flexibility to make the video look the best. And then it's kind of like just any other editing software. You can move around the clips, switch them out. So for example, if you wanted to change anything over here on the left, if you wanted to change the text and the way that that looked, you could obviously change the subtitles. If you wanted to change the music on top, you could obviously do that. I typically recommend always to not add any music or mute the music that's on there because sometimes, not all the time, but every once in a while, you can run into a copyright issue on when you're uploading it to somewhere like TikTok and you don't want that, so always take the music out and then add commercial royalty-free music on TikTok when you're uploading the video if you want to. You could always change the avatar. Here's where you could pick yours if you actually did the AI one, and then you'd be the person on camera, which is very cool. You can even add more media if you wanted to add it in there, and you can change the look and feel of the captions based on what you want. So if you pick one of these, it's gonna change the captions and the way it looks. I typically always just keep it kind of basic. I like that the best. I think it looks the cleanest. And then if you wanna change the videos down here, you just click into the videos down here. So you'll see it's got four different clips of videos. So if we play it, let's see what it looks like originally. 
Ever struggled with shaky, unfocused videos while live streaming or vlogging? I did until I found this auto face tracking phone holder. Its AI powered 360 degree rotation keeps me perfectly in frame, hands free all the time. Grab yours now and elevate your content. So that's not bad, but obviously we want to adjust this. The first two aren't terrible. This middle one right here is probably something that it doesn't look like we can Keeps me see. perfectly in frame, hands free all the time. Oh, there we go. It finally loaded. Grab yours now and elevate. But we're probably going to change her out because I don't love that video right there. So let's go to media and then we could change her out by just clicking in a different clip and dragging it over. If you want to make it a little bit bigger, you could. Now and elevate your content. And one of the key caveats that I'd recommend here is keeping the actual videos a little bit shorter, right? So see how this one's 4.2 seconds, this one's three seconds, this one's five. I typically recommend to switch the clip up every three seconds roughly. The faster you switch it, obviously, the less likelihood that you'll lose the viewer's retention. The more frequently that you switch it up and the shorter the clips, obviously, the better retention that you'll potentially have and it'll be easier to actually keep someone's attention while they're watching the video through. And then when you're done and you're happy with what you actually put together, you would just click save and then render the video. And typically a few minutes later, the video will be able to download and you can just upload it to TikTok or wherever else you want to. So this software is a game changer. It really gives us the ability to test so many more products in the beginning when we're not really 100% sure what's gonna work for us and what's gonna get sales. The whole point of the software is not to scale 1000% with this. It is to throw hundreds or thousands of hooks in the water very quickly, very easily with again, the minimum viable product approach. See where you're getting the bites and then there you can double down on what's working. So give it a shot. First link in the description. Really hope it helps.